bubble equals trouble. It's pretty yeah. much comes down to that. If you got the, if you're in the bubble, you got a chance to be good. If you're not in the bubble, there's going to be a lot of trouble. And the league that's in a lot of trouble right now, as we talked about this in the last episode, but it's, it's gotten worse. It's gotten worse, people. <laughs> Major League Baseball. It's absolutely gotten worse. And I think it's safe. And I think I said this on the last podcast. You talked about you didn't know if they were going to make it through the month of August. I said I don't know if they'd make it through two weeks. We are now coming up on towards two weeks. I don't know if that's going to happen. Now, we talked last time about the Miami Marlins outbreak, how bad that was. And for an update on that, the Miami Marlins were, I don't know if this has happened yet, but they were supposed to be transported via bus from Philly to Miami. Yeah. When I saw that, there was only one thing that came to my mind. Yo, who the hell is driving that bus? Same. The first thing I thought. Like, of. How much the would they, first thing. Ryan? How much would you have to be paid to drive that bus? Uh, six figures. That's it. Six, six figures. I'd do it. That's it. Yeah, maybe even seventy-five k. I might do it. No, it's not enough. But but you got to remember also, you're asking somebody without a license. Like, for all we know, I, I might not be able to drive. If we're going okay. based on how I drive in, like, Grand Theft Auto, then it ain't going to end well. Nobody, it's going to end. Nobody, you know what I'm saying? Nobody should have you driving the bus then. All, you were the wrong person to ask for that. No wonder, <laughs> no wonder you got no license. You you have no experience. You're like, yeah, I'll I take, 70, yeah, I I'll take 75K. I wouldn't take 75K and I drive. There's no way I take that. And, and I'd have to be in a hazmat suit before I drive that. That's the only way I'm doing it. You got to put me in a hazmat suit. Maybe I'll drive it. You'll be very sweaty by the time you get to uh, Virginia. But I might, but fine. <laughs> but I might not have, I might not have that Rona. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, okay. So anyway, somebody's going to do that and move this team. The Marlins uh, had, what, six of their games canceled until Sunday to be able to play again. 20 people had been affected within the team. And players. But then later in the week, we found out there were more tests and came with the St. Louis Cardinals. And the Cardinals had to cancel games uh, with the Milwaukee Brewers, to which Lorenzo Kane said, peace, I'm out of here. I'm not I'm not doing this. I'm not going to be part of this. Opted out of the season. Can't yep. blame can't blame the brother. Can't blame anybody for that. All right. They're now right before us doing this, this podcast, we're recording um, before this comes out. Another four people, one player and three staff members, uh, tested positive. That was on that was Saturday, and four more members of the organization had inconclusive results. This is according to Jeff Passan of ESPN. Uh, all the games between the Brewers and Cardinals were canceled. I don't even think uh, there's supposed to be a home and home series between the Cardinals and Tigers this week. Right. right. That is now going to be all the games will be in Detroit. Um, and I now I'm thinking about Detroit. Do you want to play Cardinals? Because I wouldn't. Um, <laughs> even though they're coming to your stadium, I wouldn't. So, and then locally, uh, my man La Potencia, yeah, Joanna Cespedes, who came back, hit a home run in the first game. Yeah. Uh, big contract year. He's been injured. Everybody knows the injury history with him. And looked like this could be a big year for him to see if he could still play. He was AWOL from the team before their game. Uh, Sunday against the Braves, and then found out pretty much towards the end of the game, Cespedes gave them the deuces as well. He is going to be opted out of the season. Look, Brian, when you see these players opting out, you see St. Louis getting these positive test results. It looks like there could be more. We'll find out. Are you? Can baseball finish the season? It seems like no. I I think that if I were – so if I'm a Lorenzo Cain and if I'm a Joanna Cespedes – even though Cespedes is in the final year of his deal and is playing for a new contract, yeah, he's good. He's he'll he should opt out because he's financially secure. He's gotten his money. He's going to get more money regardless of what happens this season. Although it doesn't look like they're going to finish even August, and we're now in August. I don't think they're going to even finish this month. Rob Manfred, there's already reports coming out talking about like, oh, he might have to suspend the season. He's throwing his blame at other people, which I'm sure you're going to have some words for yes, after do. I'm done with yes, this. Yes, I do. Um, but yeah, if I'm a major league player, unless I'm a minor leaguer who's like trying to make it or somebody on the fringes or whatever the case may be, then yeah, I'm probably going to opt out just because of the uncertainty, everything that's going on. It's, it can't be great for your anxiety. 
because you're always thinking about like, yo, you're always going to be scatterbrained. Like, yo, are you actually going to play? We have to travel here. But then didn't they just recently test positive? Like what's going to happen? Mm -hmm. And then we have an outbreak in our clubhouse. All it takes is one and then it becomes five and then it becomes eight and then it becomes 12. You know what I mean? All these things are going on. So baseball, to, to go to your point, right in the beginning of this show, should have done baseball in a bubble. Uh, there were reports about how they could have done it months ago. I think they were even one of the first leagues who sort of threw this idea out there. That is correct. And they didn't even follow through with it, which is disappointing. Yeah. I think if football doesn't have a bubble, which it doesn't like they're gonna it doesn't look like they're gonna have, uh, then they're gonna be in trouble also and we're not gonna have a Super Bowl playoffs, none of that stuff, World Series, anything. So, you know, baseball has shot itself in the foot again and it's not surprising, and it, it's unfortunate because they really had a chance to actually be at the forefront of this because they threw out that bubble idea early. And then with Yoenis Cespedes, again, I don't blame him at all. I mean, if you're a Met fan, obviously you could see why they traded for Billy Hamilton all of a sudden, but it looks like it's not going to matter within a few weeks. Yeah, I'm not sure any of that matters. Um, to one of your points, and I'll mention this in the podcast, I spoke uh, recently with two people who covered the NFL, and they both told me that, hey, look, this is this league is going to try to make a go at it. Uh, I think that's even crazy in itself. They said they're going to try to do it. Both people said to me, hey, I don't know how long this can last. And one of the people I talked to said, look, I think one of the major concerns is how quick this could spread within a team with the size of the staff you have. And you can see both players and coaches and other staff members get sick really quickly. That is definitely a concern in how they're going to be do that. I'm sure we'll touch more on the NFL later yeah, in the yeah. month. To baseball, you brought up the point about Commissioner Manfred. Uh, I believe this was this was Thursday or was it Friday. Uh, Manfred told uh, MLBPA Executive Director Tony Clark on Friday that if the sport doesn't do a better job of managing the coronavirus, it could shut down for the season. The this sport, was, he says. The sport, right? Not us. Not us. Not we. Not we. <laughs> I, I read this and I, Jeff, Jeff Passan had tweeted this and I read this and I said, what? Are you... Uh, <laughs> Are you insane? How, and I tweeted this back, and I quote tweeted this, so you can look at my Twitter page. How is the commissioner telling someone else to do a better job of the handling the situation? Because somebody explained that to me. The buck stops with the commissioner. If the NBA bubble fails or something horribly goes wrong, yes, there will be blame on Adam Silver. And rightfully so. Um, the buck stops with the commissioner in all leagues. You are protecting the interests of the players. You really work for the owners more so protecting their interests, but you also want to make your product and your players feel safe and comfortable. That is part of your job. And to pass the blame on somebody else, if this goes as horribly wrong as, and I don't, I don't even know what horribly wrong is, but if, if this goes as wrong as we think, Brian, yeah. how we think this can go, we don't think it'll end this month. Again, I'm still standing myself. I don't know if we'll get past this week. Mm -hmm. If this goes as horribly wrong, if they have to cancel all these games and all this other stuff, Manfred comes out of this looking bad. This is a sport that is headed towards a labor dispute. This is historically one of the most powerful unions in sports. I, this Players have called them out publicly as well. Yep. Players have done that. And, and them feeling like they could do that is a problem to begin with. You let's, know what I mean? Let's, let's also look at the horrible way he handled, because this is not just isolated to this, horrible way he handled, uh, you know, I forgot what we were calling it with uh, the, the Astros, uh, trash can gate or whatever the hell we were calling it. Yeah, whatever yeah. that was, yeah. he, they, he handled it horribly in that regard too, uh, which I was not a fan of. And people called him out for that. And, and you could tell the players don't got no respect for him. Could you see anybody talking about Adam Silver this way? Adam Silver was somebody I was going to mention as well. Like I feel like even Roger, totally Good opposite. even Roger Goodell. Who's got some haters on it? And now the NFL is just not as powerful as the union, so that's probably another thing too. But even Roger Goodell doesn't get talked, I think, about with this much disrespect. Yeah, I agree. Baseball's in trouble, in my opinion. It's already a sport that was losing interest in fans. Brian, we have talked about that on the podcast. They've tried to do some good things to get interest with younger fans. This is just pushing them away. They were not proactive, as I said in the last podcast. They were reactive. They look to continuously be reactive. And it, and if you're them, and we'll get to the NBA in a bit, but you're them, you got to look at these other sports, the NBA, the NHL, that are in the bubbles. I know it was hard for baseball to get in the bubbles because of where they wanted to put them, Florida, Arizona, where they've been doing a horrible job. But you didn't even try to do that. You didn't even try to come up with a plan to do that. And now you got people traveling. Now you got people who have got to bust people to back to their place where they were before. 
players who don't want to play. And I think if you get bigger players, star players that say, nah, 